Hello, this is Tony Bayat, president of Bauer Compressors. We're here in our factory in Norfolk, Virginia. I'm excited to introduce our newest product, a self-contained mobile high-capacity CNG system designed to be transported from site to site. As you can see, the system is packaged into a custom 40-foot ISO container. This high-pressure CNG system was built for ultimate versatility in terms of being able to function with a wide range of inlet pressures which may vary from one side to the other. The system is designed to work with gas inlet pressures from 5 PSIG all the way up to 234 PSIG. At a gas inlet pressure of 20 PSIG and above, the system produces 425 SCFM of CNG at 5,000 PSIG final pressure. At an inlet pressure of 5 PSIG, which is at the lower end, the system produces 300 SCFM of CNG at 5,000 PSIG final pressure. By upsizing the first stage of the compressor system, we can actually produce as much as 425 SCFM at 1 PSIG inlet pressure. So come follow me and let's do a walkthrough of the system. What you see here behind me is a compressor compartment section of the system. This 20-foot section can be completely opened so that you can easily access all of the system's components. The compressor compartment houses two different compressor modules. The first module consists of the Bauer Rotocom 75 horsepower GRU9 rotary screw compressor. We use this module to boost the inlet pressure of the incoming gas supply, which can range from 5 to 25 PSIG up to a final pressure of 145 PSIG. The GRU system is equipped with an integrated combination oil-gas cooler, as well as our patented oil-gas separation system. The second compressor module consists of our standard C2612 high-pressure booster compressor, which boosts the incoming CNG from the first stage GRU up to a final pressure of 5,000 PSIG. The C26 booster compressor has a 175 horsepower motor. The combined horsepower of both modules is 250 horsepower. In essence, what we have here between the first and the second compressor module is a five-stage high-capacity compressor system. This module is the heat exchanger for the booster compressor's glycol cooling system. The compressor compartment is equipped with an explosion-proof light as well as methane sensor, which shuts the complete system down if methane is detected. All electrical connections are run in conduit with port sealed connections into the gas-tight electrical room, which is located on the other side of the container. All sensors and transducers are connected to the PLC controllers via remote I.O. connection. The HMIs for the GRU and XFIL compressors are mounted low, so if the system is trailer mounted, it will be at eye level. Part of the versatility of the system comes from the fact that the customer can run both the compressor modules separately and independently. The GRU rotary screw compressor module can boost the incoming gas from 5 PSIG up to 210 PSIG. There is a separate low pressure outlet for the GRU if the customer wants to run the GRU compressor only. Vice versa, if the gas inlet pressure at the side is high enough, the customer can choose to run the four-stage XFOL booster compressor only. The XFOL booster compressor can take inlet pressures from 90 to 145 PSIG max with an output pressure of 5,000 PSIG. Both the GRU and XFIL gas inlets are equipped with pressure regulators. The GRU regulator regulates inlet pressure down to 25 PSIG, which is the maximum inlet pressure of the GRU rotary screw compressor. The XFIL compressor regulator regulates inlet pressure from 245 PSIG, which is the maximum inlet into this system, down to 145 PSIG, which is the maximum inlet pressure into the XFIL booster compressor. On this side of the container is the inlet section for the incoming utility gas. Removing this section for transport is facilitated by the hammer union connection. We utilize type 150 flanges for ease of utility connection. The inlet section is also equipped with a manual ball valve 
to shut off the supply of gas into the container. At this end of the system is the electrical control room. To meet Class 1 Div 2 code, which governs the handling of hazardous explosive gases, the opening to the electrical room has to be 15 feet away from the nearest opening to the compressor compartment. The two compartments are separated through a gas tight wall. Inside the electrical control room are two VFD drives for compressor modules 1 and 2, as well as the incoming power conduits and outgoing power conduits from the VFDs to the compressors. To make electrical utility connections easy for our customers, we have provided an external junction box where you can connect the incoming power into our system. We have also provided for relays to facilitate remote generated start and stop if the customer wants to run the compressor system on a portable generator. Of course, the system is equipped with our state-of-the-art PowerConnect IoT remote telemetry system, which allows you to remotely control and monitor all aspects of the system via the PowerConnect app. Let us segue over to the customer who was here last week for the factory acceptance test, and let's see what he has to say. We're here today with Mark Kimberlin. He's the Chief Operating Officer of CleanCore LNG. Mark, tell us a little bit more about what you do. Well, Tony, uh, CleanCore um, is a, a service company. We specialize in um, providing utility companies um, emergency bypass services, and we also support um, large CNG fleet operators with um, our own stations. Well, Mark, you just purchased this large mobile CNG system. Tell us a little bit more about what you're going to do with this. Well, Tony, um, we came to Bauer for a, um, a specialized hybrid unit because we have a, a situation where we have limited infrastructure and uh, the challenges that are associated with that. We've asked Bauer to build us a tool that will give us the best of both worlds. High output capacity with low inlet pressure so that we can operate our expanding services with the limited uh, infrastructure resources that we have available to us. Excellent, thank you, Mark. What do you think about the flexibility of the system? Well, I think the flexibility that Bauer's built into this is, uh, is, is actually a very amazing. That allows us to plug this thing in at a moment's notice, being a mobile platform with limited power availability and uh, you know, limited gas service. So Mark, why did you choose Bauer for this system? Well, Tony, I naturally chose Bauer because we've been part of the Bauer family for many years. And in order to minimize our capital and operational risk, uh, we turned to Bauer for this hybrid system for the reliability. And what about the uh, service after the installation? Definitely, that's uh, what the customized system like this, um, the service after the installation is, is very important because once we uh, commission this customized unit, it cannot be offline. And then that's how we use uh, Bauer Connect as well uh, as a tool to help you for reliable service. Yeah, the Bauer Connect unit has proven to be very effective and it will be even more important with this hybrid system because we're, we're both going to be ne needing to monitor the vitals. Very good, thank you. The best thing about this Bauer Portable CNG system, besides its versatility, is the fact that site setup is super easy and quick. Just connect the gas to the system's gas inlet flange, then connect three-phase and single-phase power to the external electrical junction box, and voila, you're up and running. This process should take less than an hour. I hope that you've enjoyed this tour of Bauer's newest high-capacity CNG system, which is specifically designed for portability at an infinite combination of low as well as high inlet gas pressures. Thank you so much for watching.